So right from the beginning, the media has manipulated, lied, distorted every facet of this story. I suppose some would say that in order to drive up their ratings, I think they want blood in the streets myself. I think they want a replay of the 92 riots. I think that's what they want. And there seem to be plenty of folks who want to buy right into that as well. Well, I never bought from the beginning that George Zimmerman himself was a racist because, well, frankly, there was no evidence. And what little evidence did trickle out to maybe uh, imply that he was a racist was rather, well, kind of flimsy. And that's what you have to do, you see. When you make a claim against someone like that, uh, when you make pretty much any claim at all, you have to provide evidence and prove your case. But that doesn't seem to matter for many people. Well, okay, so I'm fine as a skeptic. All right, I'm not saying that he's not a racist, but I'm not convinced that he is a racist. He very well could be. Uh, maybe he's just really good at hiding it. Well, I have to ask you, how do those who still believe, no matter what anybody says, how do you explain the behaviors of this person? In particular, what's just come out today? Somebody in his family writes, You will recall the incident of the beating of the black homeless man, Sherman Ware, on December 4, 2010, by the son of a Sanford police officer. This happens to be an example that's used as evidence against the Sanford police as for racism. Hmm. The beating sparked an outrage in the community, but there were very few that stepped up to do anything about it. I would presume the inaction was because of the fact that he was homeless, not because he was black. Well, I think another factor could be is because the the white guy who assaulted the black guy himself well, eight seconds later also assaulted a white guy. I mean, this guy was on a, you know, a, a drunken rampage. And then there's, so there's that accusation of racism. I think that doesn't really hold up. And he said, what, nigga, what? After he was, you know, hit, hit the black guy, you know, was pumping out his chest and being a badass. And then the second charge was, well, this is obviously a case of racism, racism in the Sanford PD. Well, you're going to have to do a little better than that. I mean, I don't know exactly what they did in that case. They don't really make it clear. Uh, they just, the guy was in charge or some shit. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know the individual that stepped up when no one else in the black community would? Do you know who spent tireless hours putting flyers on the cars of persons parked in the churches of the black community? Do you know who waited for the black churchgoers to get out of church so they could hand them flyers in an attempt to organize the black community against this horrible miscarriage of justice? Do you know who helped organize the city a hall meeting of January 8, 2011 at city at Sanford City Hall? That person was George Zimmerman. Unbelievable, he says. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah, it is ironic because what's happening to 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 George Zimmerman is exactly what he was attempting to do against that uh, against the Sanford police itself. I guess what he wanted, perhaps he might have been wanted to be part of that. I don't know. Very ironic. Very ironic. <laughs> How do you, those of you who believe this man is racist, maintain your storyline? I mean, I guess you could say this is made up. Um, they, they said here on the, that it's been confirmed that it was written by a family member. And, of course, you'd have to can go back and fact check, talk to the NAACP and see those members who actually remember George Zimmerman doing them, doing this, where are those people in the media? Hmm. Well, I don't know how you, how, how you, you explain this away. I mean, this is not the action of a racist to try to organize the black community. Oh my. All right. So yeah, if you got anything, let me know. Peace out, my brothers, sisters, and everyone in between.